Family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Regine Nubu exposed by his ex. Neek best friend arrested for race away. We got robbed. It's crazy. Let's get it. That Neek's best and longtime friend Kobe was arrested in a traffic stop back in February. The article 26 reads, pounds? 26 pounds of pot found. Damn. Driver passes out, wakes up, and takes off. Oh. It states a police encounter between two Louisiana men allegedly carrying 26 pounds of marijuana and firearms led to one passing out then getting up and running back to a vehicle and fleeing law enforcement only to be caught soon after. Beaumont Police Department officers were working on I-10 near 833 mile marker when a 2017 Audi A6 drove by at a high rate of speed. It says August 25th here, but the article was actually wrote in February, so maybe this happened last year. But it states the driver was identified as Javian Joseph Mitchell, 23, of St. Martinsville, Louisiana, according to the affidavit. Once the vehicle stopped, officers noticed the registration on the car was expired. A front passenger was identified as Kobe Jarrell Milton, 25 of Baton Rouge. During the traffic stop, Mitchell was asked to exit the vehicle, and while an officer was speaking with the passenger who was seated in the vehicle, the driver passed out and fell to the ground. The document is given the dude that he was messing with. That was his his gas it read mitchell reportedly <laughs> got up and ran to the driver's seat and fled in the vehicle the driver passed numerous of vehicles on the shoulder of the road causing a danger to the other motorists and left a lengthy pursuit mitchell and milton stopped and were placed into custody while clearing the truck officers smelled what they believed to be and located approximately 26 pounds of it. So this is crazy because Kobe was... 26 pounds is crazy. Just the passenger, but the driver decided to jump back in the car and actually lead officers on a pursuit. I mean, that's a charge in itself, not to mention that 26 pounds that they were carrying. But let's move on to this next topic with Regine. Damn, it's us just moving on. Like, hold on, what's, what's going to happen with him? Damn, he was scared of that charge. Man, what? First of all, I'm not riding around with no pounds in general, <laughs> but uh, six of them, I mean, 26 of them is out of control. 26 of them is out of control. Nah, hell no. Nah. I, I probably would have left too. Now, IG <laughs> model T Room posted photos of Regine and her boyfriend out hanging in Miami. He's not actually in the video, but you can see Regine here and you can see the same shirt that he's wearing. And Regine did come out and state that, yes, she is dating. Well, people in the comment section had some things to say about Regine's new boo. They start by saying, this is Moon X. He used to be on her YouTube looking fruity. <laughs> Another person states, this is Moon X. He used to be in her vlogs. Regine was better off being by herself or working things out with Armand. This dude likes women to spoil him. Moon was tricking on him. Another oh, person states, damn. he finna break her heart. This man is no good. Now the moon that they are talking about is the owner of Moon X Cosmetics. Now this is him in her vlogs. Now they dated around two years ago, but now recently Moon was on TikTok speaking about women dating under their worth. And people assumed that she was talking about Regine's new friend. Can we stop dating down? I'm begging. And I'm talking Wait, to my what? old self and probably my future self if I still haven't learned my lesson. But can we stop dating down? I She's talking to herself. I knew she was talking to herself because, sis. <laughs> I hate to see it. I hate hearing about it. And it's just really disheartening. I hate it for women. I hate it for anybody that has dated down and left a situation empty, left a situation just where it's like, what did I get myself into? But yes, like I said, stop dating down. If I know that I make seven, eight figures a year, why am I gonna date somebody who's not on that financial scale? And it's well, friend, why did you date somebody that wasn't on that financial scale? And then projecting it on everybody else. <laughs> 
she had to let somebody know, y'all. And she's like, Regine, run. <laughs> Girl, run and please. Fast. Nothing wrong with not being on that financial scale yet, but I feel like this point in my life, I'm not dating down to accommodate you, meaning I'm not going to not be able to do the things I want, not be able to not get the gifts or the time or the dates or the trips or certain things that I want, my bills pay certain accommodations from you because that's not where we are equally yoked financially. I prefer and I would want my man to make more money than me. I'm 24. I've dated a lot of men, not a lot of men, but I've dated men that are not financially yoked with me. And I always find an excuse. On you will have to ask yourself, why are you attracting broke niggas? Because that's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like she is attracting men that are broke. I'm not going to lie, though. I don't think he's broke anymore. So maybe she felt like she built him up. and He out here. Happy with Regine. And she don't like that. That's what it seemed like. I could be wrong, you know? And why things weren't getting done. Even if it was for something very small, it still was no excuse on why it wasn't getting done. I want a man, I want a man to make me feel secure. Financially, emotionally, physically, sensually, intellectually. Like, I want all of that in a man. You got to attract that, And that's that, why friend. I feel like, too... Dating down and dating in general in this time, I'm gonna say generation because that's just so blah. But in this time that we have hey. access to so many different people and the courts are very short, they're very blah. Some men do go a string for courting, some men do the bare minimum. And a lot of men don't like to date. Um, I ain't gonna say all the time, but like they it seems they don't want to date because they don't want to buy women nothing to eat. And it's given because women always ask him what we eat and because women like to eat. And some men just don't give a damn about eating. Um, if I was single at a time like this and say, for instance, I was dating men, bruh, it's so bad out here. I would just go eat by myself. <laughs> like if you don't ask me to go eat, cause what it is is misery loves company. So a lot of a lot of women, especially now, especially women that are successful, they are out here rich and single and they are not loving it. OK, they don't like it. They want a man to be around with, uh, to be around and do things with. Right. So then they find themselves talking to niggas and then I feel like it's just random, like some random dude. He probably ain't got nothing going on. And he probably ain't telling you he ain't got nothing on, going on. He probably acting like he got something going on. But I feel like you should be able to see through that these days. But it's a lot of con artist men out here. But anyway, I feel like at some point it's a settle that goes on with you. Like, I'm going to just settle and I'm going to use him to go out to eat with. You know what I'm saying? He going to be my little kick it buddy and my... Uh, my wood when I need some wood. You know, most niggas who don't have no money, they got some good meat, so I've heard. So with that being said, you get good wood and a nigga to take out to eat. So at some point, things start to get serious because now you kind of falling for the nigga, the broke nigga, you know, kind of falling for him. And now you're in a situation because you're going to have to take care of him. I'm sure he done moved in, you know what I'm saying? And then you get to blame him. You got to blame yourself, friend. I, I will say sometimes it just it's better to just go have that hookah and that uh that crab boil by yourself. It's just like, mm, no, I'm not okay with that no more. I'm not okay with accepting a bare minimum because you know I have money. I'm not okay with accepting a bare minimum to where it's like you know. And women gotta understand that you're not. If you got a lot of money. And you met him and he doesn't have a lot of money. He may not know how to obtain a lot of money. Everybody doesn't have a lot of money these days. It's either people have a lot of money. People are in between, which means they can pay their bills and go out and do a couple things. Or you just got people who ain't got no money. It's three different types of people in this world. So uh, I feel like she's just attracting the wrong guys, but it's a reason. Oh, if I don't do it, she got it. No, I don't want my man to have that mindset. No man should have that mindset. A man is meant to lead, protect, 
and lead and protect <laughs> and supply security. That's what a man is. Whether, like I said, whether it's any of those dynamics I listed earlier, but can we just stop? Can we stop? And can y'all stop trying to date people y'all know that just don't like that? Can we just stop? So a comment <laughs> reads, sometimes we're tricked. A man pretending he has money did absolutely not. And then Moon responds with, OMG, yes, I felt so catfish. So she could really be talking about anyone here. I mean, I'm sure she's had other relationships she talking about. after she was dating Regine's new friend. But anyways, you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Now, Ray recently posted on Instagram that she was robbed. She this past weekend, a tragic incident has occurred where my jewelry was left with a friend accidentally and her boyfriend has stolen it and been on the run since this one item is accumulated to over 20,000. And if anybody know dude name, blah, 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 please DM me. Please let him know before a warrant is put out for arrest to please return my jury. If my jury is returned, I will seek no further precaution in turning this into a legal matter. His Instagram is attached in the next slide. Thank you. Stated this Damn. past weekend, a tragic incident that chain has gone occurred as hell. where my jury was left with a friend accidentally and her boyfriend has stolen it and been on the run since. This one item is accumulated to over $20,000. That chain And if gone anybody know a dude named Blank Williams or Kilo, please DM me. Please let him know before a warrant is put out for his arrest to please return my jury. If my jury is returned, <laughs> I will seek no further precaution. If it has some gold on it, it's melted as hell. Diamonds took out and everything. ...in turning this into a legal matter. His Instagram is also attached in the next slide. So head over to Ray's Instagram to see pictures of this guy and also to get the full names of the people that she feels like is involved. Now, Ray did respond to a few comments first one states damn ray you always losing something hope he returns it ray responded with i didn't lose it it was handed to her to keep from losing it and she forgot to return it took it home he seen it thought it was a dude chain and it went from there someone damn. else states can't put a warrant out for stolen property unless there's concrete evidence like a video or something if not it'll be your word versus his hope you get it back though gang then Ray responds with, <laughs> nah, it's a whole story behind what happened. Trust me. So now the guy that she's alleging stole her jury. If Lilo don't steal, but posting and telling people your chain got took is wild. Come on, gangster. Who said I was gangster? You crashing out over somebody I barely know, fool. I told you I ain't street, fam. I'm from the suburbs and ain't disrespected you. Once, I don't even know you, but from what shawty you was messing with said, she said you crashed out once you seen it. If I was police, I would have been got the police involved. They done already told me I got enough to start a case. But the thing is, I'm not even mad because everything was a misunderstanding between him and his girl. I don't F with people for real. Don't be around folks for real. I be in my own lane. So for me to be in the middle of y'all stuff is crazy work. Go handle that with her. Don't take it out on me. Came back and responded with, E is crazy. Man. What would have paid between him? I go ahead and break the chain. It's the story behind that. But I'm pretty sure we will hear from Ray on this whole situation. And you guys know, I'll keep you updated. Nigga, anyway run me my chain. <laughs> you ain't got to be gangster to want your chain back. And I don't understand why people think, like, if you stole something of mine, I'm not supposed to say you stole something of mine. Ain't that crazy? You stole something of mine. Give it back. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.